Hi, my name is Emmy. My mom, she got a lot of jewelry today and she's going to show it to us. Hi everyone, welcome to Dragonfly Bees. My name is Susie and in this video, I will be unboxing a mystery lot. Got this from a subscriber friend, Gina. Uh, you may know her as my pink bag and she sells five pound lots and they cost $65 including shipping so let's see what I got well here's the box I got a few lots so let me take one of the bags out and start with one put this down Take a look at it. And let's okay, begin. First um, item I pulled out of the bag is this bracelet, copper bracelet, and it has panels. Um, this is not damage. I can see each one of these panels do have that gap. Uh, here's another one uh, all around let's see if you look at this it looks like maybe bone um, you see the, the circular lines in there and bone does have a yellowish tint with with age but then again so does ivory but here you can see more of the marks um, bone is porous so these could be um, yeah this could be bone so this is nice a black and ivory cream color bangle Next up is another bangle. Um, this one here is also copper. Uh, there is some wear inside, but that's okay. You 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 won't see that. But it's um it's very pretty. It has kind of like a basket weave design in bronze, gold tone and like an antique silver tone um all right there's there's some little marks all that one mark but otherwise um uh, here's another mark otherwise this is a very nice piece yeah i like it Next up is a, uh, this is an acrylic panel, a white, uh, what am I saying, white, black glossy panel with this animal print panel, alternating panels, and they're all held together with this um, black seed bead wrap, and here is a gold tone closure, it is magnetic, so this is pretty acrylic panel bracelet with a magnetic closure it looks to be in looks to be in good condition uh, this I'll just clean up a bit yeah very nice what's up next up another bracelet um, has some stretch to it it has a scarab stone of some sort uh, I don't know that could be Laramer Lar Laramar it feels cold I don't have my gem tester back but you know I know it's um it's a real stone it is a twisted 
rope rope design and it has a little flower motif on the other end needs a little cleaning let's see it's kind of crude kind of rough inside but it's it's overall it's a it's a very nice bracelet looks a little I'm gonna bend it a little it looks really large maybe it's for um Oh, it's for a larger wrist. As you can see, look look how wide that is. So this is nice. Um, I will test it and put the results on the screen because it is not magnetic. So um, I'll check it out. Okay. Next up is this macrame bracelet. It is um, a really pretty gray threading cord and it has all these pretty uh, bronze beads entwined in it. It's in really good condition. That's the back and um, it has a lobster clasp with the little extender. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty too. Very nice. Okay, we have this memory wire um, bracelet. It has real stones. What is that? I always, uh, okay, looks to be yeah, they feel cold. Well, maybe except for the um, bicone, these amber color bicone, they, they feel plastic, but these um, brown beads look to be like a <clears throat> cat's eye. Is that what they call it? This is in good shape too. This is nice. I like mystery lots. You don't know what you're going to get. Okay. Another bracelet. This is um, dyed halite. Uh, silver tone. Triple chain. <clears throat> it's very, very soft against your skin. It's, it's like a snake chain. This is a medallion, open, open back. There's some glue or resin over here that I, I don't know, I guess I could clean that off. It just needs a little cleaning. Um, it has a fold over clasp. Try that. Works good. That's kind of tough. <laughs> All right, give me a second. Give me a second. I, I, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I am getting it. Oh, that is secure. Okay. Very nice. Yeah, it, it just needs um, some cleaning up. Very pretty. Very, uh, I don't know, southwestern. Let's try the magnet here. This is not magnetic, so this is another thing I will test. So yeah, my magnet, all the tools that I use, you can find them in the links in the description box below. And, um, so check it out. Oh, this is pretty. Look at this. This here is a double strand bracelet. Oh, it has these pretty, like, daisy, um, 
med stations that hold the chains together, but this is the, the stunner right there. Look at that, the way it shines. Green um, crystals. They're all there. Just really pretty filigree work. That's the back, open back. It has a lobster clasp and an extender with a bead. Oh, there's a little name tag. Oh, name tag. <laughs> there's a jewelry tag. <clears throat> and it says GS. What's GS? I don't know. I don't know. But if you know, let me know by commenting below. This is pretty. Okay. What's, what do we have next? We got this ring. Wow. Look at that shine. This is um like a crystal blue persuasion. I mean, um, crystal blue, crystal blue, AB coated. Kind of like a pave style dome ring. It's quite heavy. Let's try it on. What it looks like. Mm hmm Oh yeah. Might be a seven. Let's see. This is not magnetic. Let's see what size this is. Could be a seven and a half. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, it looks to be like a seven and a half. Very pretty. That is nice. There's a ring in the lot. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. It's like slinky. It's all different silver tone rings. You got this um, crystal encrusted rondel, two of them. And you have these pretty decorative beads, beaded rondels, and it's all on this mesh, mesh bracelet. <clears throat> there is a butterfly charm hanging off the end. There's a toggle clasp. Very pretty. Really pretty. So this is a silver tone charm bracelet. Very nice. up is this uh, open open ended cuff it's really heavy this looks to be like bronze and there's some um, brass in the middle and it's all welded together on on both sides it's really heavy this is nice let's see Okay, that's how it looks. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. We have this bangle that is like a, um, you know, Alex and Ani style adjustable. And it has all these dangly charms. That say something. What does it say? Uh, love. Oh, faith. Friends. 
peace, strength, and family. And then there's this really, really beautiful peach enamel charm that that opens. <clears throat> Ooh, look at that. That is cute. Very secure. Okay. So that's a um that's a cute bracelet. What's up? Ooh. Okay. This is a multi-strand pearl bracelet. Held by seed beads on either end with this really pretty decorative um, bead cap and uh, a toggle closure. These pearls are are real. Um, they're freshwater pearls. These darker ones have little spacers in between. They have like this green, purple iridescence to them. It's very nice. It's very pretty. So this is something else that I'm going to have to test. But that is nice. Well, that is a pearl bracelet. More bracelets. Oh, this is really, really gold. It is a like a yellow gold tone charm bracelet with the lobster clasp and a very long extender that has a bead at the end. So we have a dice, we have a four leaf clover, we have a anchor, you got a wishbone, you have a horseshoe, it says good luck on it. You got a elephant, a number seven, and a puffy, a puffy heart. Charm bracelet. Okay. Next up, next up. Earrings. Ooh. These are like frosted um, lucite earrings in this beautiful scallop shell design. And they have these really shiny icy blue crystals. They're all there. Oh, they're clippies. <clears throat> they're clip-ons, right? Yeah, they clip on. And they have this really pretty design on the back. It's an open work design. They, um, you could see right through them. So they're they're not solid, they're they're hollow. And they're they're very comfortable. They, they feel very, you know, they're lightweight, so they should be comfortable on. So these are pretty, pretty clip-on earrings. Oh, okay. Here's a, here's a single earring. A single earring, like a chandelier style. Pretty crystals. This is pierced. I'm not sure if it says something, but I'll check it out. Um, that's the back. Yeah, these are these are gorgeous, or as Gina would say, fantastic. And then here's here's another single earring. This is a screw back, 
And that's a gold tone um, flower with all these crystals um, all around. So yeah, we just went through some bracelets and, and earrings. Um, awesome mystery lot so far. So I guess uh, moving on, we'll go to, I guess the necklaces next. Okay, I just grabbed a whole um, stack out of the bag and here is a, here's a necklace with an eagle pendant and it's like a mother of pearl. We gotta clean his face got a dirty little face but isn't he amazing and then there are maybe um, some sort of a what is this Jasper chips on either side with gold gold bead spacers and then he's on a long shell necklace with graduating sizes. And then at the end, there is a gold tone barrel clasp. Let's look at the back. There's the back. Very unique, very nice. So yeah, everything I'm showing is of course for sale. Um, you can email me on at dragonflybees at gmail.com. This is, I believe, amethyst wrapped in a silver wire with a beautiful silver tone bail. And then it has this multi strand seed bead necklace with amethyst chips. Going up the neck, ending in two of these plastic beads, and then a silver tone chain. It also has a lobster class with this extender, and it has the same bead hanging off the extender. Um, this is pretty. This is... I thought I'd try something new. My table was so dirty that I just put a piece of foam on the table. But uh, um, I guess it's I guess it's good because when if I drop something, it won't hit the hard surface. That is not magnetic, so I'm gonna test this too. Yay! This is pretty. So yeah, um, I watched Gina's channel and I knew that she was collecting things and she mentioned she was making lots. So I emailed her and, um, and I got one. And I'm very happy. Okay, next we have, what do we got? What do we have? We have this really pretty sea bead um, necklace with some like bronze disc spacers and these um, shell like abalone stations very um, very simple but very nice very pretty piece. The colors are great. I love the colors. Such pretty colors. And this ends in a um, lobster class closure with a um, 
a little tiny seed bead, at, seed bead at the end. And this actually has a jewelry tag. Really tiny one. And it has some sort of a symbol on it that I don't recognize. But let's see if it says anything on the opposite side. And it and it does. All right. It's, this is challenging. This is so tiny. And of course, it's upside down. I'm going to try to read it. I'm going to try to read it for you all. And it says... It says... Oh, gosh. Um, it does say China, but it does say something above it. So, let me get my, uh, my loop and, and see if I can see it better. And I'm sure I will. So... It actually says, now if I could hold it in my other hand, that would be smart, Susie. It says 925 China. Okay. Well, that's something I definitely will, will test also because many, um, many jewelry items that are marked 925 may not be so it's always good to to know exactly what what you're selling so it's always good to do the acid test so yeah I will test this okay next up next up oops oopsie okay Look at this. This is a very sweet little choker with beautiful small oval stones, uh, agate, most likely. And on the end, it's like a gold bead with this little inch of braided leather on either side. And there is a toggle clasp at the end in like a brush brush gold tone. Very delicate, very sweet. Um, that's that's really cute. Oh, this double um, gold tone beads uh, in between each of the stones, and I could see. That it is hand knotted. This is unusual. I've never seen this leather braid um, before on a necklace with of this type. So yeah, very nice. Oops, sorry. Ah, oh. my my my. This is nice. It feels so cold to the touch. It's um. Possibly jadeite. Um, and then you have all these other semi-precious stones. Uh, bezeled. In this silver um, encasing. Let's see what they could be. Maybe amethyst. Maybe a lapis. Mm, maybe a... I don't know. Maybe a turquoise moonstone. Maybe an agate and a carnelian. This is pretty. It's on a nice simple silver tone chain that is extremely long. And it ends in a lobster clasp with the extender. And there's a little disc at the end, and it says 
et, etc., etc., with the exclamation point. All right, etc., with the exclamation point. So it's actually etc. <laughs> Oh gosh, I cracked myself up. All right. Okay. And that's that. Okay. So what do you think so far? Um, is this one? I, I think it is. I think it, wow. This is one, one necklace. Okay. Triple strand. Got these metal beads. It ends in a lobster clasp with a tiny extender. It, it's uh, graduated layers. Let's see if I can get this straightened out right. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay, get that out of the way. Okay, so you have these. And they're metal. Metal like tiny little nuggets. And it you have one short layer here, and then a second layer here, and then it ends in this, in this. Do I have it backwards? Uh, okay. Look at this. You have these little medallions, um, gold tone, silver tone, and then you have these little danglies on front of this one and on in front of the the two at the end. So this is pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Ugh. You get the idea. You get the gist. Okay. Very nice so far. Um, okay. Ugh. Okay. Ooh, what? Are, what's this? What is this? Silver tone, uh, choker style necklace. Lobster clasp at the end. Let's see if I could get this to lay straight. Um, got some twisty action going on here. Um, all right. Um, okay. I think I think you get the idea really <laughs> well anyway you have these going all the way up the neckline all the way to the end okay this is really twisted I, I gotta take time to really figure this part out because it's it's not falling right this part here so you know you gotta gotta work that part okay but um laying flat I guess it would look like this very nice silver tone you have these um like little spears or inverted teardrops hanging off and then on the back, that's what it looks like. 
So this is cool. Very cool, very cool. Ooh, this is cool too. What's okay, this is super long. Super, super long. This is a very long, long snake chain that ends in a fancy clasp. Okay, how's that? And there's this medallion, and it has a leaf on the top, and then you got this fancy shiny one underneath. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I thought maybe it was, I thought it was a locket, but it's not. It's actually two separate medallions, and they are connected with a hinge. So that's the back. Turn it over. And then you have this leaf, and it has like this little beaded frame. And you got this one here that has all these really beautiful crystals in purple and blue and pink. And, and on the outer border is these AB coated ones that make it really really shine so this is so nice this one here sorry this one here I will also test and then next up Ooh, this looks very um this looks very, it's missing something. Uh, there are actually two ring, ring, uh, spring ring, spring, <laughs> spring clasp at the end. Do you see that? Kind of reminds me of like a rosary bead. And this is what's hanging off this beautiful pendant with these beautiful rhinestones. It's in this really dark, dark, dark bronzy um, color, and it has a very decorative bell with a uh, with the crystal or rhinestone in the middle on top. It's a scroll. That's the back. Oh, that, that bell was backwards because look, this side has um has crystal, so it probably goes it probably goes this way. Here, let me fold it back. Um, uh oh, it's a very soft, uh oh, it's very soft, the metal is very soft, so I don't want to damage it, but if you notice that's in the back, when I think it should have been in the front, and this here is so soft that I didn't want to break it, but I'll, I'll look at it. I'll look at it when we're done. I'll look at it later. Okay. What's next? This is a brush silver tone necklace with a gi gigantic Rolo style chain with double links and a like a hook closure. And then it ends in this swirly pendant with all these hanging swirly cones on the bottom. Now this is cute. 
There you go. That's nice. Something else to test. Oh, wow. This is, I love this color. It's like an iridescent blue. Uh, they feel that, um, let's see. These are real pearls. And then there's these um, floral spacers. And this is like a, perhaps a shell of some sort. So let's take a look at this. Um, what is this? Oh. Well, this is the closure. Uh, like a box class with the pearl on the end. This is a matching uh, bracelet. So there's a matching bracelet. This is a set. with the matching bracelet. Okay, I'm a little confused. I see a box clasp here. I see one here. And I see one here. So, does that mean I could make four bracelets? Or I could shorten the necklace. Look at this. There's like so many um, variations you can do. You can have with this um, with this set. That's interesting. Is it? Yeah. See. One here. One here. One there. And there's your um, bracelet. Very pretty set. Awesome. Very pretty set. Wow, this is heavy. Wow, wow, wow. This is some statement necklace. I mean, this is heavy, guys. This is... This is awesome. This is so clean and... <sighs> Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is, um, like a opaque white rhinestone and they are faceted um, and prong set and they are in the center of this like triple rings on the bottom larger on the bottom graduating up the side and then it ends in this motif like a figure eight. And then you have a beautiful, um, like an oversized lobster clasp with the extender and the bead at the end. This is, this is quite, quite a necklace. And that is the back. It's the back. Very, very nice. Ooh, what do we got? What do we got? Navy and white stripes. And you have this bronze tone uh, chain. You got some beads with that same pattern. I'm trying to find... I'm trying to find the end. Okay. Here's the end. So now I know it's a double strand. Let's see what we have. Okay. Let's see what we got. Okay. So these are acrylic, double sided. Looks very nautical to me, right? Uh, something you wear on a cruise. Uh, 
And there you have your beads. This is circle. This is a heart. Here's another heart. As you go down the necklace, you got more circles, more beads, another circle, and then it ends. This layer ends, but it continues to the it continues and it ends in a heart. So this is a fun, a very fun necklace. Um, it does have a, uh, it does have some wear, but you know what? If I clean it up a bit, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, the clasp has some wear. It's all uh, in that bronze tone. But I think it's pretty nice. Very nice. Okay. I see something green. Okay. What is this? This is um, one of those necklaces that have that sliding feature. Um, with the strings. Where you can pull this and make it um, shorter or longer. It is on this very nice uh, cord right here. This has a, a twisty uh, pattern to it on both ends. And then you got this. I don't know what these are. They feel like some sort of like a like a nut. I don't know. Very tropical. Can you picture wearing this with your uh, with your sarong? Very fun. Very beachy. Ah, oh, makes me makes me miss summer. Okay. So this is cute. Very nice. So far, I am liking this mystery lot. Okay. Sorry. Ooh, nice and cold to the touch. Really pretty. Really pretty. Really pretty. Like amethyst. Um, purple. Miniature. Well, then they're, they're not chips. They're, they're polished and they're, they're rounded. Chips can be more uh, rough in, in shape, but these are really pretty. And it is a, a single strand with no closure. And uh, it's a very nice necklace. I'll test these two. Next up, oops, that's me. It's my hair. Okay, next up we have this really pretty herring, like hematite, hematite cylinder, cylinder um, chain with a barrel cap clasp at the end. And it ends in this pendant, which is also hematite in like a little donut shape and then I believe it has some oh it has double hearts and there's also little um it could be jadeite beads that's nice very nice Okay, next up. Oh, so this is a five, I believe it's five pounds. Five pound mystery lot. Um, I believe you can get, uh, well, I emailed Gina, but I know you can, she may have them listed on her, on her eBay page, which is uh, my pink bag. Oh, look at this. This is like a brushed satiny silver tone chain. Uh, like in that paper clip uh, design and it 
has a lobster clasp with a really nice long extender and it has a pretty embellished bead at the end that um, goes along with the motif of the, the necklace. This is very heavy. It's, it's quite heavy. Um, these beads are heavy and they're cold. So I wonder what they are. In, the, um, in this lighting, I mean, they do, they look, they look like hematite to me because they have that silvery um, finish to them. And then you have these beaded like cylinders rounded cylinders. It's really pretty. This is a very pretty design. I, I like I like the chain on top. I like this. I like it all. I like this. I will test this and you will know what it is when I put it on the screen. Ooh. Look at this. Wow. This is some medallion. It, diamond shape. Very heavy. Has this um, purple swirly design on this brass tone plate. That has these designs on it and it's hanging off a very long chain that's made up of wooden beads these could be wood too and you have these fancy little detailed cylinders with this little uh fancy bronze beads and more more wooden beads in between okay this is something else look at this woohoo and it ends in a bronze tone lobster clasp okay Almost done, but I gotta say, I like, I like the mystery lot from my pink bag. Okay, this here, uh, almost like a um, gunmetal. My hands off. I don't know where I got all this dirt from. Um. There is some verdigris here. Uh, I could clean that up. But this is a pretty open heart. That's the back. Gotta wash it up. It is, it is hanging off this really pretty chain that has all these pretty beads on it. And then it's on this it feels like leather. You know what? Maybe that's where my fingers are getting so filthy. Maybe it's from this. Okay, so this is not good. I'm going to take take this off because it's it's making my my hands really dirty. Okay. Well, this one, this one, I'll I'll put it aside. I put that aside. Ugh. Oh. All right. Okay, what's up, what's up? We have another necklace that has a, um, oops. Okay, okay. Seed bead, black seed beads, barrel clasp, and really uh, cold stones. Wow, look at my fingers. Disregard, you know what? Let me go clean up. Uh, I'll come back to this one. Give me a second. All right. 
Um, I'm back. So here, uh, what was I looking at? Okay, this is a necklace with a black seed bead chain. And then on either side, there's some painted glass cylinders. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, and then there's these... Um, some kind of stones on either side and a painted glass bead in the middle yeah sweet okay next we have this antique gold chain lobster class Extend it with a bead, quite long, and at the end, there's this very pretty locket, quite heavy. In the back, it's an open, um, open design, really, really unique. And in the front, you have this. Pretty crystals all around with the, a design in the center. So let's open this up. And that's what it looks like. Oh, there's a, it's a metal, metal. <gasps> magnet, magnet closure. It's quite loose, but with the magnet, <laughs> with the magnet, the chain is sticking to it. Sorry. It's annoying me. Okay. So there you have it. This antique gold, um, gold tone locket. Encrusted with the, um, crystals on this very long, 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 long chain. <laughs> that magnet is... There you go. Stop that. Stop it. Stop, stop, stop. Strong magnet. Well, a couple more things left in this lot. But I must say, I am really happy, quite impressed. Oh, this is a fun one. This is a, um, a wire necklace made up of purple, purple uh, seed beads with a brass tone, bronze tone, lobster clasp, extender with a little metal bead at the end. And it has all these little danglies. All these little dangly things. And some, and some hair, bonus hair. Okay, there, there's a few um, strands of hair in here. I'll just get those out. But here they are, very pretty. Very pretty danglies. Okay. Oh, this is a heavy, heavy chain. Heavy, heavy metal. We got this beautiful, awesome satin finish. Like, more like a matte finish. A matted silver. Okay. I think this is something I have to take time with too because it's kind of like twisted a little right there, right here. But um, lobster class closure. So let's take a look at, at the bottom, at the pendant. You have this faux pearl and three blossoms. Or are they dogwood? And then you have this beautiful medallion with a 
flower in the center. So let's see what it looks like in the back. That's what it looks like in the back. So this is nice. It is, um, like I said, that matte gray chain, link chain. And then you have this smaller chain entwined in each link all throughout. And this part, I just have to, um, just have to straighten that out because it's kind of, uh, it needs some help. But yeah, that's pretty, very pretty. Very pretty, pretty, pretty. Down the home stretch. What's this? Oh, another um, toggle clasp necklace. Double strands. Double strands. Double. Double trouble. Um, okay, I got it. Oof. Okay, this one. Very pretty, shiny, double strand with these tiny little like garnet color faceted ovals and then you have these little tiny bicone beads and and these little spacers and then these tiny like faux pearl beads that's what it looks like That is sweet. Very sweet. I think this is, oh no, there's a couple, I think there's a couple more things left. But look at this. Woohoo. This is a pendant. That's awesome. Beautiful. Shiny, blingy. Faux gemstones on this um, silver tone snake chain. This feels good on your skin. Just just doing that felt good. Um, lobster clasp extender with a little bead at the end. There's actually a jewelry tag, and this one says. Um, it says Park Lane. This is a Park Lane pendant, ne pendant necklace uh, with this beautiful um, faux gemstone pendant. Awesome. Okay, so this is the last thing. This is the last item in this particular lot. Um, and this is a gold tone really cool uh gold tone necklace with different uh types of links you have this solid oval link and these oblong links oh and there's a pendant well i guess it's on the side of course it's backwards um no. What am I doing? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Okay, I got it. I got it. Oh wait. Is that? Okay, that's better. Okay. Wait, what's this? Oh gosh. Okay, how's that? That gives you an idea? Okay, this is this is cool. It has this little disc and look at these. Wow. 
Very pretty. This is in um, really good condition. Uh, there is a lobster class, there is an extender, and there's a maker's mark. Okay, this is Banana Republic. So, yeah, we end this lot with a Banana Republic gold tone chain link necklace with this beautiful crystal embellishment. So, um, to sum up, I would have to take everything that I just showed you and place it here back on the screen because there was absolutely nothing I did not like. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be doing um, another one from that I purchased from Gina. And uh, please give me a like. I'm a really new channel. It would really help me a lot. It would um, even be spectacular or fantastic if you would subscribe and ring that bell so that way you'll be alerted when I post my next new video. So thank you so much everyone for, um, for watching and I'll see you real soon. Bye.